I want to talk about a common thing that comes up in many of our cases, and that's whether a defendant is in the course and scope of their employment during an accident, otherwise known as respondeat superior or vicarious liability of the employer for the actions of their employee while working. And of course, the going and coming rule has been the big exclusion. If an employee gets into an accident, going and coming from work, commuting, are usually not in the course and scope. Also, it's been the law that if an employee is on their lunch break and they get into an accident, they're not in the course and scope. And then Lobo versus Tamco came down and it kind of changed the landscape. And it said even if an employee is going and coming or even if they're on their lunch break, if they're doing a few different things, they can also be determined to be in the course and scope. And the first is if the vehicle they're using is required or adds a benefit to the employer. For example, a manager who's maybe on their break, but they have a certain type of truck, a certain type of vehicle that benefits the employer. If they're using that vehicle, they may be in the course and scope. If also an employee is doing a special errand under the Lobo case, they may be in the course and scope. For example, someone takes a side trip or if they're on a work-related phone call, even while commuting to and from work, they may be in the course and scope. If you have other questions, if you want to talk about it, please feel free to reach out. But use Lobo. Don't accept, well, they weren't working at the time. There's a lot of evidence that can prove course and scope.